What is up you guys, ADJC1559 here, and I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to get the, uh, Krima Ahum La Ahum ah um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, cannot pronounce that correctly, but, uh, what, what it is, is the storm bow, the lightning bow, whatever you want to call this thing. Uh, it's the bow that you get from, uh, well, you'll see here in the tutorial. But, uh... Anyway, uh, if you guys are only here for a specific step, these are the times that you can skip ahead to in the video to get taken there immediately. Uh, everybody else, keep watching. First thing you want to note is that you have to get the original bow. This is the one that you get from feeding the three dragons. If you don't know how to do that, I got a link in the description so you can check it out. But uh, you come over here, shoot this weather vane, and uh, this will come out. Pick it up, and that'll immediately start you on the quest to start upgrading the uh, the storm bow. You can see it uh, down there in your bottom right of this uh, screen here. It uh, you might want to check on this screen quite very often, as much as you can. It'll uh, let you know your progress on it. All right. So for this next step, what you're going to need to do is uh, there's these. Uh, uh, wooden spots that are all over the map. There's three of them, and you're gonna want to set them on fire with your bow. There's one located right here on the side of the clock tower there, and uh, there it is. You can see it on the screen there. And I'm trying to shoot at it. There we go. Uh, obviously, it's pretty notable when you when you done it correctly. It'll light on fire like that, and smoke will start to come out. Remember, there's three of these, and you have to hit them. Also, I would highly Highly advise if you're playing solo to make these uh, zombies uh, to make zombies crawlers. Like I had to use it in plain sight because they were bugging me so much. It was unbelievable. But uh, this one's a little hard to hit. Uh, it's just on the side of the castle walls, just across of where the first one was. But uh, if you're playing co-op, you can have somebody you know hold the zombies while you try this. But oh my goodness, like I I tried so hard to get it. And then the last one is located uh, over by the rocket. You have to teleport by going into the undercroft to get here. Uh, and it's up there in the sky. You see it? On the side of the mountain, just to the right when you come out of the uh, the teleporting uh, area. Uh, yeah, just like I said, just light them on fire and you're golden. Good. And that'll complete the first step. Make sure to get all three. You see right there, the uh, the circle thing has appeared. And uh, that get, tells you your progress. See? So I am... Um, um, I'm barely continuing with the progress. When that white circle, when that circle is completely white, that's when you'll know you're done and you're ready to be upgraded. Now for this next part, it can be a little bit annoying if you're not good at uh, using the advanced movement in, uh, implemented in Black Ops 3. But uh, you see there's these, uh, all around the Undercroft, there's these uh, panels, I uh, would call them, that uh, are glowing. Well, they've started glowing now because you're on the step. They weren't glowing before, but uh, there are these panels, right? Five of them in this undercroft, and you have to run over them, run across them while wall running. So you have to wait for the uh, the anti uh, not anti gravity, but low gravity uh, stage to come up. And uh, the way you do that is there's these panels in the center, and uh, you just stand on all four of them. The same, I'm like I'm running around them right now. You see, they're already lit blue. But with a, what you do is you uh, you stand on all four of you stand on all four of them one at a time if you're playing solo, and uh, and until they uh, stay lit blue, and then this this uh, low gravity stage will begin. But you see, uh, you have to wall run across these uh, panels here, just like you see me doing. I think you'll hear a noise whenever uh, you've done it correctly, and uh, when you have done it, if if you fall, if you fall off, you ha it resets it all, and you have to get all five again. And uh, that's that's troublesome, especially for uh, this part coming up right here. This part right here. That, uh, that can be a little tricky sometimes. But uh, eventually, with enough practice and enough tries, you'll get it. This step really isn't that hard. just takes a few tries. And you see, now that I've completed another step, I'm given that uh, notification, that indication that I've completed a step and more of that white circle is filled. So uh, you're doing good. Continue. 
Right, so for this next step, what you'll need to do is uh, know that there's these three urns all over the map, and uh, you're going to fill these urns with zombie souls by killing zombies in front of them. There's one located just right here, where you just saw. Uh, another one is located, uh, it's in the clock tower over here. Uh, you need to you're gonna have to kill zombies near this and this is very difficult because uh, It's they're like a tightly compacted room But uh, the third one you have to teleport for it uh, So go down into the undercroft to teleport, but uh, it's located uh, just as soon as you get out of the teleporter just directly in front right here uh, You need to get kills in front of them It's approximately eight kills I would say but uh, I'd recommend using your bow Seriously, I, uh, I the bow is just fantastic and it kills uh, really fast. I at one point I I don't use my bow. See here, I'm trying to fill this urn up, but uh, I I'm trying to use my gun even with fireworks and I end up going down. It, there's just too many zombies and the room is just too small. It's just it's just too hard to uh, to be able to do it. You can't. It, I I or you know yeah 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 gravity spikes as well. Why not use gravity spike? Just place them down and uh, have a, have them kill all the zombies around. It's genius. But uh, yeah, once you fill the urn with your eight zombie souls, approximately eight, uh, you can move on to uh, the next step. Uh, you find out why we're filling up these urns. Right. So now that the urns are all charged up, uh, what you'll need to do is take your arrow and charge your arrow's shot. You see this? You see the uh, lightning or electricity coming off the tip? Well, you need to uh, shoot the three bonfires you shot earlier again. Except this time, do it with uh, an electric uh, charged shot. Uh, if you fail, if you miss, which you probably will, it does take a few tries, uh, just come back to the urn and uh, recharge your arrow. Uh, but uh, when you did it correctly, it'll look like that. Uh, there will be electricity all around the smoke. Uh, do this at the three locations, just, uh, you know, like I said, you guys, make a crawler, because, if you're playing solo, because uh, it'll make your life a million times easier. I, w I went down because I was trying to train these three zombies while trying to uh, get this, uh, in particular, uh, bonfire to light up, and uh, it, w it just, I died, you know, it couldn't take it. But, uh, it definitely, crawlers, oh my god, it's absolutely essential. Anyway, yeah, get the three bonfires that you got before. Uh, it might take a few tries, but you'll be fine. And uh, you'll be good. And be able to move on to the next step. Uh, also, uh, your progress will uh, show up there, just like you saw. Once again, the white circle is filling up more and more and more. And we're almost done, you guys. We're almost done. Alright, so up on the roof, on the death ray area, where you originally got the pieces, uh, there will be this glowing blue scattered pieces. Uh, you just go and hit your action button on it, and like I'm about to do here, and then this will happen. The uh, pieces will float up into there, you wait a little bit, and then it will come back out as a uh, repaired bow. And uh, once you have that, head on down into the Undercroft and uh, get ready to kill some zombies. Also notice now that uh, your meter the, for the circle is c finally completely white. This means that you have completed all the steps to upgrading this arrow. Uh, so the last step for all arrows will always be the same. And it'll be uh, down in the undercroft. So head on down here. Find the... Uh, we were doing the storm bow. So you need to find the storm pedestal thing here. And uh, place the arrow there. This will give you an instant max ammo. And uh, all you have to do... Okay, zombie kills around it. Uh, now, I can't confirm whether or not you have to use the bow or not, but uh, again, I recommend using the bow, as the bow is freaking incredible and gets kills like crazy. Also, I think you have to get the kills in front of the chest. I believe if you get kills behind the chest or even a little bit to the side of the chest, it won't, uh, it won't really register or it won't really count. Uh, but uh, you'll know when the chest is done filling when uh, there it won't it'll stop collecting souls and once it does stop collecting souls go up to it hold your action button you'll give him you give the chest your bow and then you will receive your upgraded bow 
the storm bow. Now this thing is incredible, you guys. The uh, the down there, you can clearly see that uh, you have completed all the quests and the bow has been upgraded. But uh, this thing is incredible. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's how you upgrade the bow, you guys, to the storm bow. Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. I uh, highly appreciate this. Uh, if you could drop a like, that'd be fantastic. As well as uh, you know, subscribe if you're new. But uh, keep watching, you guys. More tutorials coming soon. So uh, you want to make sure you're around for that. And uh, later.